Alrighty, my friends, welcome to another video here. In this video, I'm going to basically be going over two trades that I did. Uh, I've, I've been so tied up this last week that I haven't had time to really keep up with all of this stuff and like making these videos and like, you know, posting all this stuff. Uh, like I've hardly even had time to like post things on like Twitter or Instagram. Uh, so anyways, I want to do this quick video for you guys. Um, I'm going to try and keep it real quick because I want to do another video after this one and I still need to do it all before like the day resets and ends and then like I still have a lot of stuff I need to do today. So basically the video that I posted previous to this one was the Boeing trade where I made like $135 or $150 profit on it. Um, just go back to that video and you'll see why like I'm doing all this. Anyways, so I did another trade on Tuesday, then the market was closed on Wednesday and then I did another trade on Thursday and then another one today. But like I said, I've been so tied up. I haven't had a chance to like keep up with all this stuff. So in this video, I'm going to go over the trade that I did on Tuesday and Thursday. Remember, the market was closed on Wednesday. And then after this video, so the next video will basically be today's trade, which is what you see right here. But don't worry about this. We'll go over this in the next video. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to go back to like the trades from Tuesday and Thursday. I'm like, you know, I'm not familiar with this platform. I'm like, you know, go show all win. Like, where is it at? Where is it at? Uh, you know, it's not pulling it up. So uh, I can't figure out how to do it like that. I know how to use it on the phone, on the mobile app. So I went in on my phone. I took screenshots of the orders and I'm going to just show it to you guys like that. And then I don't know what I did with the charts here. I broke the charts. Normally, like there's like a line that says like, yeah, if I say, look at, I got in at, you know, 1030. I could show you guys like, look, 1030, but it doesn't hover. That line where it shows the time doesn't hover anymore. So I made a mess with this platform. I don't know what the deal is. I, I mean, I guess it's like a good thing. It shows the fact that how I always say it doesn't matter what platform you use. It doesn't matter what broker you use. As long as you have the proper knowledge, you'll make money. What happened there? You'll make money either way. And if you don't have the proper knowledge, you'll lose money either way. So I have the proper knowledge, but I don't even know how to use the system. I know how to trade and I understand the markets and I have my strategies, but I don't know how to use the system, but yet I can still manage to make money. So this kind of shows that idea right there. Now, let's just jump into it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show it to you guys on my, the thinkorswim that I normally like to use here. So that's what we're going to do it on. And again, two trades here, one losing one, one winning one. You guys know me though, as I always like to say, as long as the outcome is income. Um, if you heard me say in the last video, I'm going to try and do like a little idea to see maybe if I can build like a small account. So to see how much I can build it with. And I'm off to a good start already. I'd like to say you guys will see what I talk about in the, in the next video as well. Uh, but anyways, that's not the point of this. I just get these two videos out, the, these two trades out the way for you guys here. So here they are. Here is I'm just trying to show you guys that, you know, this was the Boeing trade on Monday. So we're going to go over the NVIDIA that I did on Tuesday. Market was closed Wednesday. Then we're going to go over the BABA that I did on Thursday. And the BABA was a losing trade. Um, so yeah, we're going to just talk about this stuff real briefly here. Uh, let me show you the first one. So NVIDIA right here, you guys can see at 9.31 a.m. It says 9.31 because on the E-Trade platform here, um, it... It's registered on Eastern time, but I am on Pacific time. So this platform here is going to show it to you guys on three hours behind. So just keep that in mind. So 931 is really 631. So we got in two contracts. I had puts. Puts means you make money when the stock goes down. Two contracts for $140 each. So I paid basically $280 to get into this trade for like th this trade cost $280 basically. I got in at 931 and then I closed it at 947 which is 647 my time. So about a 15 minute trade. I sold it for 214. Let's just say 215 for the sake of simplicity here. So in for 140 out for let's say 215 for the sake of calculations here and all that we had two contracts that's 
a $75 profit each on each one, 140 to 215. Multiply that by two, that's $150 profit. So $150 profit using 280. So this was more than a 50% return, if you think of it. We put $280 in, we got 150 profit out. Bought it for 280 because I had two contracts, like I say. Sold it for about 430. And the profit is $150. So using less than even $300, we were able to make a $150 profit. And then remember, you know, the pre oh, we don't need to worry about the previous trade. You guys can just go watch that video. I don't want to make this video a really, really long video or anything. Uh, I just wanted to touch base on that. Um, and that's pretty much that. So another small trade here, just showing you guys how you can make money with a small amount of money here, trading real stocks, NVIDIA. Look at NVIDIA, just for the sake of it here. And I'll also, also show it to you guys on the chart here. Look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a $150 stock. Let's go look at it on Tuesday. See, I'm just so familiar with this. See, and here's that little price level down here that I'm telling you guys about. So here's Tuesday. The lowest it was was $155. The highest it was was, let's say, a $170. So if you bought two shares for $150, that would have been $300 right there. And then you had a $15 profit on each share. You had two shares. So you would have made a $30 profit. That's if you were trading the shares. But we were trading the options. So because we were trading the options and because we know what to do and we know how to use them, Instead of putting $300 in and only making 30, we were able to put 280 in and make 150. And, and that's pretty much that on the NVIDIA trade. And I'll show it to you guys on the chart. It doesn't really matter where it happened on the chart. Um, it's not really like that relevant. It's more so just trying to highlight the trades here. But here's like that 631 that I got in at pretty much like a minute after the market opened. And then I was out at 647, which is right there. And that was pretty much my trade there. It did end up going lower in the day, so I could have made a lot more money. But hey, we don't really worry about that kind of stuff. You take your profit and you go on with your life. So that was pretty much that on the NVIDIA trade. Now let me just real briefly touch base on this BABA trade, the losing trade. Um, again, it's nothing exciting that really goes into it, but just because for the sake of showing it and keeping track of things, because I did mention, um, you know, in that previous video of that Boeing trade, I did mention how, okay, we'll see what we can do with building this small account. So now since I mentioned that, let me just keep track of it here. And then I'll do today's trade on the next video. And then that way you can kind of like get a visual of like what one full week looks like. So anyways, this BABA trade happened after the market was closed on Wednesday. So remember I said on that previous video, I mentioned that, you know, markets closed on Wednesday. So I'm not kind of, I'm not too sure how to react. I'm not too sure how it does it because this is an unexpected event. The, you know, the market was closed because the president died. Well, not our current president, but you know what I mean, a past president. That doesn't happen every year. That doesn't happen every five years. So I didn't quite know how to react to it. Uh, anyway, so this was half after that and the market was acting pretty weird like some of my orders weren't going in properly uh things like that so anyways that was that was just like one little idea i'm not trying to justify the way that i lost you know sometimes you're going to be wrong you're wrong you're wrong it's not you no one can be right 100 percent of the time but you know i'm just trying to give a little commentary here on it so long story short on this one i bought two contracts for 164 each let's just say 165 for the sake of it so that's 330 dollars that i paid 328 and then I sold it so I got in 941 and then at 10 11 basically like 30 minutes later I sold it took my loss so see this is what I mean when I tell you guys oh just because the trade cost $280 doesn't mean we're risking $280 if we're wrong it doesn't mean we're gonna lose the entire trade we can always close it out for a smaller uh, smaller loss so anyways I got into it for 164 you do the math, 164 times 2, it's 328. Then I sold it for 122. You do the math there, it's 244. So, 328 minus 200. And if I, I want to make sure I did the math right here, actually. Let's just do this. I had two contracts. 164 
to 122 is a $42 difference. I had two contracts, so it was an $84 loss. So my loss was smaller than my profits, as I always say. You see what I'm saying, guys? And again, there's nothing exciting here about this. If you guys go and look at all my other videos, no one really ever watches my videos where I talk about my losses. Um, you know, so that's why I like the highlight of my videos are usually always like the profit because everyone gets excited. Oh, yeah, I could make this much with this much. No one really cares about how much they lose, which is unfortunate. You know, you really should care about how much you should lose, which, you know, that that's like my backbone of my strategy, I say, is like my risk management and all that, because that's what keeps you alive at the end of the day. You have to have a proper risk management strategy. And it's unfortunate that people that, you know, look into trading don't look at the losing side of things. They don't plan for their losses. And that's what end up ends up making them lose in the long run. But anyways, that's like a whole nother lesson for like another time. You know, I, yeah, we don't need to talk about that right now. So those were the two trades. Basically, you guys can see here now that was the NVIDIA one. And then the Baba one. So we had like 135 or 150 profit here. And then we had this one and then a little loss here. Again, like I say, no one can be right 100% of the time. And then I had today's trade, which I'm gonna go over in the next lesson. So that's pretty much that. This was kind of one of my weirdest videos that I did where I ended up, you know, going over two and one. Uh, even if we just look at the two, you know, I had a profit and then I had a loss. My loss was smaller than my profit. So at the end of the day, you still made money. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. You better watch the next video because it'll be more exciting than this one. So yeah, talk to you guys soon.